So after we've refreshed it, you can see it um, fixed our little error there and gave us our horizontal line. Um, now, obviously, very, very rudimentary. Um, there's no styling or anything to this. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to add some extra text here. So we're going to say by, and then we're going to make the name bold. And then we're going to say at, and then we're going to make the time bold. On, and we're going to make the date bold. So if we just refresh now, you can see we have all this information has been bolded, and then we have our text there saying, hey, what's up? So it's a very, very simple way to do, uh, do this and display it. And um, you can obviously add in whatever HTML code you want there, up to you. So one of the key problems with this is that if our message is multi-lined, then it won't be displayed as multi-lined. It'll just be displayed as a single line, and that's a bit of a problem. So to fix that, we want to call the nl2br, or new line to break function, and the parameter we're going to pass is our message. So essentially that's what, what that's saying is it's going to take every new line and add a break tag in there, um, which will just give us our multi-line text. So that will display each message there, and I'm going to go ahead and insert another and we'll say posted by John John at gmail.com message it says what's happening the time will be 5 All right, so we have all this information entered. Go ahead and hit it and refresh this. So we have by John, what's happening? And then we have by Nick Frosty, hey, what's up? So it's showing us our most recent post, but it's not giving us that extra line in there, which is definitely what we want. So I'm going to switch this stuff around a little bit. After our break, after our, um, after we end the div there, I'm gonna put in the horizontal line. And right here, I'm gonna put in a break tag. So if we refresh, so we have each one is separated by a horizontal line. And I'm going to go ahead and just echo out an additional horizontal line at the top, just like that. So we have each person posting what they posted, and then the next person, and so on and so forth. So that's how this will all work and look in the end. So now we get to the actual adding of posts. So what we want to do is we want to create a form. So we're going to echo the form. Our action will be dot slash um, index.php because that is the file we're actually working with. We're working with our index.php um, and we want this to submit back. And obviously, if you're working with, say, guestbook.php, you want to set that to guestbook.php. And then we want to set our method to post. So inside of here, we're going to create a table. And before we do that, I'm going to put in a header2 tag, or an h2 tag. And I'm going to say, post to the guestbook. Um, so it'll show us that message, it'll say post to the guestbook, it'll give us our form, and then it'll show us our current posts, and I'm going to add an echo for the current posts, and throw in another h2 tag. And it'll just say current posts. So our table, what we want to do is we want to create a row, and our row is going to have a column, and it's going to have two columns. 
So our first column is going to say the text of what you're supposed to be entering. So your name and then the second column will be our text box. So input type equals text name equals name and we will say um, style equals uh, width colon 200 pixels and that will just give us a nice big text box there. So if I go ahead and refresh the page now you can see we have post a guest book and then we have our name and our text box and then we have the current posts and then the current posts that are in here. So what we need to do now is just add in the rest of our form. So the next thing you have to have is your email. And then we need the message that you're actually entering. And then we're going to have our submit button. So the name will be post button, post btn. Go ahead and get rid of the style here. Value equals all right, so what we need to do now is we need to create the the, the large uh, text area for the uh, message. So we want to create a text area, and we need to end the text area, and we need to set a height, and I still can't type height of, we'll just go with 100 pixels. Um, our name is message. The name for our email box is email. And if we go ahead and refresh the page now, you can see we have our name box, our email, our message, and our post button. So we have our form. We can go ahead and uh, get to the code that will actually add it to the database. So we want to come up here above our um, above our echoes here and I'm going to separate this into two separate echo statements so we will have our text there and then we'll have an if statement right here that will check to see if the the uh, post button has been uh, pressed so post btn so if dollar sign underscore post btn um, dollar sign underscore post and then post btn sorry so inside of here, what we want to do is we want to get the name, and we're using the post method here. We need to get the email and the message. Now, since all three of these pieces of information are required in order to add a post to the guest book, um, what we want to do is we want to put an if statement right here, and we're simply going to say if name, ampersand, ampersand, so it's two of them, two and signs, then we want to say email, and then two and signs again, and then message. And our else will simply echo Uh, you did not enter in all the required info. So that just is a simple message um, checking for each of these. Um, now I have shown this in the registration tutorial how to check for a valid email address. I'm not going to go ahead and do it here. Um, it's a little bit pointless for the point of this tutorial but I have shown it before. Check out the other videos if you want that. So after we have our if statement here, this checks for all the information um, what we can do now is we can add in our security um, and then we can add it to the database. Now our security is going to utilize or use um, a couple of different PHP functions. Now one of them is uh, strip tags which will get rid of all HTML tags that are inside of um, our message, our name, or the email. And that's so when it's displayed if it doesn't strip the tags out it will mess up the rest of the page if someone put in some bad HTML code. Um, you could even put in like JavaScript code and that would mess up the entire page because then someone's doing uh, cross-site scripting on you. So what we want to do is where we have our name, email, and message, I'm going to add in the strip 
tags function and I'm gonna throw it in on top of each of these and then we want to put in our end parenthesis here and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the code to uh, add to the database so we are going to say mysql underscore query and we're gonna say insert into and our table name in this case guestbook um, and then we want to say values and then parentheses now inside of here is where we're gonna put in all of our information um, so we have a blank one for our ID because it's auto incremented then we have the name then we have email message time date IP so email message time date IP so now we have to create our time date and IP variables so the time variable is going to call the um, the date function and so is the is the date variable um, the IP variable is going to call the underscore server method much like the post or get method it's underscore server and in all caps type in remote underscore ADVR and that will give you the remote address or the IP address so our date is going to say capital F space lowercase d uh, comma space capital Y and that will give us the date format of this right here now to get the time format like this what we need to do is inside of here we need to type in um, lowercase h colon lowercase i space capital A so that will give us our date our time and our IP address and then we can add it to the database and after which we can say your post has been added so if we go ahead and just test this out I'm just gonna type in random name random email it's not really important at this point and our message I'm gonna say hello there and notice that I'm doing this on a separate line here and I'll just say new line click post and oh, undefined function because that's supposed to have a underscore in it go ahead and refresh the page and resend we have your post has been added and then we have hello there and a new line and a new line and our text so it's adding all of this text here but um, to prove that the site isn't vulnerable to any sort of HTML code uh, what I'm gonna say is um, body style equal background color of black not blank black and that will set that should set the background color to black of the entire page and if this doesn't work that means our strip tags function is working properly so it says you did not enter in all the required info now the reason it's saying that even though we did is because the strip tags function just gets rid of all the tags that are inside of the message variable um, and since that's the only thing we put in was an HTML tag it got rid of it and said oh there's no message found so obviously that's working. Now, after uh, refreshing the page, I uh, I noticed this, um, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is that because of my current PHP configuration on my local server, uh, I'm getting the undefined index error. Um, and I have shown how to fix this in a previous video. Um, so, so add in a PHP tag or code block at the top here and put in this error underscore reporting and then uh, parentheses and inside of the parentheses e underscore all in all caps and then a caret which is shift six on the keyboard and then e underscore notice and then a semicolon so that line will get rid of that and if I refresh it gets rid of the error so this concludes this video um, and that is how to create a guest book hope you learned something don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.